Hi, I am Chandrasekhar Gupta and we are discussing programming concepts. Today we are going to talk about header files. Before talking about header files, I want to talk about functions. If you remember, main function is a part of the program where the execution begins. So, the control flow starts from the main function and if it encounters a function call, the control shifts to the function, the function is completely executed. After that, the control will be written back to the main function. Now, if you define a function call and if you have written function below the main function, it will be difficult for the compiler as it starts from main function and it will not be able to find this function call till now. In these cases, you will try to define the function above the main function. This is the first case or you will try to write the name of the function or the function signature at the top of the program followed by semicolon. This is called function prototype and the header files contain the function prototype of user of built-in library functions such as printf or scanf. If you take stdao.h standard input output header file, it contains the prototype of printf, scanf and many other functions. They are linked dynamically by dynamic library with their code respectively. So have you tried to define a header file on your own? Can you write a header file and can you make use of the same code again in some other program? How can we do it? Let's have a look. Let's try to create a header file. Consider you have written a function for addition. Just imagine this is a very complex program and you want to reuse this code. That means whenever I write add of i comma 3, it has to be 8. It has to give me the result. Basically, I need to give a functionality to add similar to printf. While you are writing printf, you are not writing its functionality, right? It has been written by someone else as we have seen that it is in stdio.h header file. So, let's put this inside a header file. It can be written in a normal text editor. The only condition is it has to be stored with .h extension. Let's say I have named it as addition.h. Now, if I want to use this header file inside my program, I can use it as such. I can name it hash include in double quotes addition.h. This will work when you have your C file that requires this header file and this header file are in the same directory or if you have stored this addition.h in the standard position or standard location of all the header files then you can specify the angular brackets. This is how the functionality to any function call will be created. They will be written by some experts and they will be stored in header files and it will be linked to a library file. With the combination of both of these things, we are able to use the functionalities like printf and scanf without writing the code or without writing the functionality which is behind it. Now, we have seen how to write a header file and how to define it on our own. We know that main is also a function and will it accept arguments like other functions? Can main take some arguments? Stay tuned to find out.